Hello everybody, it's been way too long. I have been traveling so I have not been able to film a video. Shoot me, I'm sorry, but I'm back and better than ever. My last story time video got a lot more attention than I thought it would, so I decided to do another one of those. But this time, as you can see from the title, it is going to be about the time I almost met Justin Stinkin' Bieber. Alright, I have seen Justin Bieber live probably 10 times, not even exaggerating, probably 10 times. Um, he screamed, I love you, across Central Park because I was running towards him. Probably shouldn't have said that, but... So I am a very big Justin Bieber fan. Not as big as I was when this story happened, but still love Justin Bieber. I don't even know how old I was, but I was 13 or 14, and it was when he started getting to be known as Justin Bieber, like first getting known, but he had a lot of fans at this time. My sister and I and her friend went to the mall because he was having a signing there. I'm pretty sure we skipped to school too. We didn't think a lot of people were going to be there. We get there and every single parking garage is full of people. Like the line goes through every single parking lot. I am a very like scared person when it comes to the law and my sister and her friend wanted to kind of break it by skipping the entire line which is not good. It's not illegal, but it's not good, and you can get in trouble for it, probably kicked out. We're like, alright, let's just go at, in the mall, act like we're not a part of the Justin Bieber meetup thing, and just, you know, try to skip the line. So, we're in the mall, and we just see this one group of kids going inside. My sister's like, we gotta get on that line and go. She suggested that we just go on the back of the line. So all three of us went to the back of the line, and it worked. We actually got to go into the back of the mall, and it was like, it was like behind the stores. So you weren't in the stores, but like you were behind them where I guess only employees can go. It was hot. This is like in the middle of the summer. We are in the back and there's probably about only a hundred people. So I guess not everybody was getting to meet them. And since we skipped the line, we were about to meet him. This guy's coming around with bracelets. He gives us a bracelet. And then a few people behind us, he gives them a different bracelet. And so we asked people like, what are the differences between the bracelets? I'm not wearing it, so I don't know why I'm trying to show it to the camera. We asked one of the girls and she said that the bracelet that we had was that you get to get a picture with him and an autograph. And then a few people behind us where they got a different bracelet, they only get to meet him and get an autograph, but they don't get a picture. So I was like, yes, like I'm a part of the cool group now. This has never happened to me in my life. So I was so excited because obviously I am about to meet Justin Bieber and get a picture, unlike the other girl behind me. Peace suckers. We waited not one, not two, but three, and I'm pretty sure it's three and a half hours that we waited in the back hot mall. Like it was so hot. It probably was like 800,000 degrees, not even exaggerating. And then there is a police officer that comes back with a megaphone. And he says, nobody is meeting Justin Bieber today because somebody got trampled outside so everybody must leave the building. I'm sorry. What'd you say? He said that no one was allowed to meet Justin Bieber anymore because some girl got trampled outside. Like, that's my problem. And... <laughs> that just canceled the entire thing because it was getting too dangerous. I started crying. I've never cried over a celebrity, but I started crying probably just because I was just like aggravated. And then my sister was like helping some other girl cry. I don't even know who the girl was, but we were just like on my sister's shoulder. Then my sister's like screaming at the cop. It was so bad. She's like yelling at the cop like, are you kidding me? Like we waited so long, blah, blah, blah. So then we go to the food court where everybody is kind of just chanting, Justin, 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 Justin. This is where it gets bad. The pl another police officer saying, Justin Bieber is not in the building, everybody must leave, he's not gonna meet anybody, whatever. There is some girls smack talking Justin Bieber. Being a hardcore believer that we were at the time, my sister says to her friend, I will pay you $20 to pour this soda on that girl's head. And it was like that big. Like it wasn't like a small, it was like an extra, extra large. Her friend said, yes, she'll do it. So Liz's friend, takes this huge thing of soda, pours it on the girl's head, of course, a cop sees, <laughs> takes Liz's friend, puts handcuffs on her, and takes her away, and says that she's getting arrested. Yep, you cannot lie about this, people. So we had to go to the security, we had to call our parents and wait for them to come pick us up. I don't even think my mom was mad. 
I think she kind of expected us to go a little crazy. My sister's friend's parents were very mad because their daughter was in cuffs. <laughs> Long story short, I didn't meet Justin Bieber, and my sister's friend got arrested instead. So, moral of the story, don't be as crazy as me and my sister and her friend. Her friends are crazy because she actually did it. I wouldn't have done that. But I hope you liked this week's story time. Leave a comment down below if you want me to do more of these because they're pretty fun. I have some crazy stories in my life. That is it. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Yes, Justin, if you're watching this, I think you owe me and I think I'm, I should meet you. So hit me up. You know my email. No, you don't. But I'll give it to you if you comment down below.